You might think being a computer game character would be awesome. But fuck you, asshole. It sucks. I get dipped in acid, set on fire, I get stuff shoved up my butt, I get my eyes gouged, kicked in the dick, foot chopped off, sausages made out of my hands, and then I have to eat them. And just when I think it's all over, and I'm actually dead, I come back to life and it starts all over again! Out here, I make my own rules! I don't know about this anymore. Shut up, you website dullard! Jesus Christ! What's all this? Just the bare essentials for colonial expansion. <laughs> oh, Jonathan, I hope you don't mind, but I'm taking this magical bag of drugs with me. It's just on account of my terrible fear of flying. Oh. Hey, hey, Tibler. <laughs> My little naked friend. Let me give you a hand. Oh, thanks, dude. Whoa there, Sugar Puff. Hey. What do you think you're doing? Well, obviously I'm coming too. No, no, no. This is a man retreat, Dickless. <laughs> well put. Yeah, we're going to the wilderness, sweetheart, not shopping. All right, pussies. Let's move out! <laughs> Retreat, bitches! Hey man, how about you keep it a little bit level? Shut up, This is making it work! I claim this land for the Empire! Attention, pussies! In the crate provided, you will find everything necessary for your survival. Carnage. Mm, wow, such match a man. Can't we just dance together? What was that? That is the sound of your first hardcore survival challenge! Well, this has been lovely. Helicopter, peasants! <laughs> There's only one way out of this hellhole. Yeah. Ah, crap. The Fire Flower is a staple of the Super Mario series since its humble beginnings as a family board game. <laughs> it grants the plummy protagonist the ability to create fireballs, like summoning tiny hand devils. <laughs> but this isn't satanic ritual, this is satanic science. So, what is a Fire Flower? How does it work? And what does it are? Let's find out in the Science of Power Ups. The Fire Flower was first discovered by great explorer Captain Megabeard. <laughs> you probably haven't heard of him because upon his discovery, he immediately exploded. <laughs> the flower converts sunlight into raw, angry energy. It's extremely volatile, so we recommend that it's only handled by official flowertologists or people you just can't stand, such as flowertologists. <laughs> the Fire Flower secretes a toxic chemical ooze that is instantly absorbed into the human skin, allowing individuals to summon and project fireballs. Our field tests show that 8 out of 10 people have some negative effects. <laughs> that ninth one had a heart attack, so it doesn't count. See what happens when this toxin is injected into this blamange. This has no scientific purposes. I just really hate blamange. But caution alert! Fire flower powers come with side effects, such as sensitivity to light, <gasps> sensitivity to heat, <gasps> and sensitivity to blamange. <laughs> Fire powers have many practical uses around the house, but like a lion on stilts, it comes at a high risk. After many tests, we conclude that putting lions on stilts is a very bad idea. If you locate him, please contact the research facility immediately and hire someone low down. This is Volunteer 328. He is just about to enjoy his dinner that has more than the recommended amount of black pepper. Watch what happens. Huh? Huh? Huh. As you can see, fire flowers actually prevent you from being able to sneeze due to- ah! ah, well, 
We have learned a valuable lesson. Let's all thank Volunteer 328. That's enough. And that concludes our study for now. For tonight's homework, locate the fire flower in this triangle. It's always a tragedy when we lose good men like him. It's why we need more good soldiers like you. Warfare has changed. The global balance of power needs to be shifted. Son, we have water guns that are 20 years ahead of anything you've seen here today. If you're interested, take this. It's advanced warfare. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Honey, I don't think we should let Timmy play with Uncle Spacey anymore. It's not so bad, dear. He hardly gets to visit Timmy anyway. I say we just let them have their fun. I know I am. Hi, I'm X's Fat Lord X, X, T, Y, X, winner of this year's Extreme Gaming Championship. See me looking down on you puny console owners? <laughs> I'm playing in 4K! OMG, so real! When I'm gaming, only the best peripherals will do. That's why my mouse is the new Scroll Destroyer Mark IV from Razzel! It's weighted for precision. Nice! Reconfigurable casing to mold it to your hand. Got 22 assignable buttons. Smashing! Five light-up company logos. Shiny! And six buttons on the wire. Woohoo! Aircon! Fur-lined laser funnel! And another five lights, some of which are also buttons! Crazy! Since I've started using the Scroll Destroyer Mark IV, my game has become more gamer than ever. I'm at the top of my game! Game! ST Mark IV wants you to be the best and has the best drivers possible. Sure, you can just plug it in and watch it work. But with Razzle, stunning driver support that updates itself 15 times a week, you'll be a fool to Brian, we need to come up with a believable reason for this crap. Please update this section of the script ASAP. Cheers. Love Grant. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Uh, hey, guy. We'll wait in later when we've come up with the reason. Uh, the best bit. This is the first mouse to require a constant internet connection to work. Look at that little logo. Sat there like a tiny god in your test bar, sucking up resources and drawing more power than your goddamn graphics card. Why? Why does it need so much power? You know so much. <laughs> 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 Hey, you there, neckbeard. Remember that game you loved? Well, now it's on mobile. Oh, awesome. And we've ruined it forever thanks to relentless greed. Uh... Remember that fun you had building your own village in the past? Well, now you can do it all over again, for free. It'll only take five years. That doesn't sound very fun. Of course it doesn't. That's why you can speed up the process with cold, hard, Cash. You said the game was free. No. Premium. Chicken. <laughs> I'm trying to progress, but keep getting wiped out by bigger players. <laughs> bigger or less miserly. No matter. You can get a huge advantage over them just by gobbling on my sweaty business long. I don't know. I mean, it's my dad who pays for my phone bill. Yes. He does. Oh, hi, son. Well, thank your father. Uh, uh, Premium! Deflate me, you darn deflatable you. Deflate me, you oh so hateable you. Did you fudge the footballs? There's debate everywhere. 
Did you diabolically deflate all the air? Suspicion is now surrounding your team. Derision, it now abounds for your team. Don't be a naughty winner. Tell us, Tom and Billy, is it true? You darn deflatable, you. Competing, some people hate how you play. Has cheating become the patriot way? Oh, don't be a football sinner. Did you deflate them? Is it true? Undeflatable you. Hi everybody, I'm Jonah from Channel Frederator. Thanks for watching this episode of Saturday Morning Cartoons. Now that you just watched another episode, you can join the network, or watch more from those creators, or watch more Saturday Morning Cartoons. Three options. You can choose whatever one you want. We got all the time in the world. I'll stay here, I'll stay on your screen. Go ahead and do that for you. You close that window, I'm gonna start crying.